Bless Yahuwah, O my soul. O Yahuwah, my Alua, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers themselves with the light as with a garment? Who stretches out the shamayim like a curtain? Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Who maketh his malachim's ruach? His ministers a flame and fire. Who laid the foundation of the Horets, that it should not be removed forever? Thou covered it with the deep as with the garment. The water stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled, at the voice of thy thunder they hasted away. They go up by the mountains, they go down by the valleys unto the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bounds at that they may not pass over, that they may turn not again to cover the Horets. He sendeth the springs into the valleys, which run amongst the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the Shemaim have their habitation which sing amongst the branches. He waters the hills from his chambers. The Horeth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and the herd for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the Horeth and wine that maketh glad the heart of man and all to make his face to shine, and bread which strengthens man's heart. The trees of Yahuwah are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon which he hath planted, where the birds make their nests, as for the stork the fair trees are her house. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats, and the rocks for the coonies. He appointed the moon for seasons, the sun knows it's going down. Thou makest darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the field do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey, and seek their meat from Alua. The sun ariseth, they gather themselves together, and they laid them down in the dens. Man goes forth unto his work, and his labor into the evening. O Yahuwah, how manifold are thy works in wisdom, hast thou made them all. The Horex is full of thy riches, so is this great and wide sea, where are the things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the ships, there is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. These wait all upon thee, that thou mightst give them their meat in due season, that thou givest them that gather, thou openst thy hand, they are full with thub, thou hidest thy face, they are troubled, thou takes away their breath, they die, and return to their dust. Thou sends forth thy ruach, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the Horeds. Thy kabod of Yahuwah shall endure forever. Yahuwah shall rejoice in his works. He looketh on the Horeds and it trembleth. He touches the hills and they smoke. I will sing unto Yahuwah as long as I live. I will sing Yada to my Alua while I have my being. My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in Yahuwah. Let the sinners be consumed out of the Horets, and let the wicked be no more. Baruch thy Yahuwah, O my soul, Yadai Yahuwah.